As we continue to see more reports about bird flu, you might be wondering how exactly the virus spreads and whether you're at risk. We sat down with a doctor from the Cleveland Clinic to answer some of the most asked questions. Right now there's low risk because it's mainly uh, seen in birds, uh, but uh, there's been some rare cases, so we need to remain vigilant. There's no documented human-to-human -human transmission at this point. So uh, it is in the community, but still at a lower risk. Dr. Cordona is an infectious disease specialist. She says while rare, bird flu is contracted when a person has close contact with an infected animal. Symptoms of the virus typically include fever, fatigue, cough, sore throat, stuffy nose, and nausea. They might also get conjunctivitis, often referred to as pink eye. Bird flu in humans can be deadly. According to the CDC, in roughly 50% of known cases, the person died. However, when detected early, the virus is treatable. People that have immunocompromising conditions or are pregnant, the elderly may have some type of chronic conditions such as the heart, uh, diabetes, and especially younger infants that have not developed their immunity may be at risk for a more severe illness with any type of influenza, including the bird flu. All right, so bottom line, nothing really to worry about, but keep it on the radar. There is a test available for bird flu. It only includes a throat or nose swab. Since the virus isn't common though, again, it's important to talk to your doctor right away if you suspect you were ever exposed to the virus.